All right, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the Crypto Truth, where I give you the truth as I see it. Let's make too much noise there. Okay. So, Hollow Chain. Uh, this was a article. Uh, excuse me, an article released by uh, Miss Camacho, um, and uh, it says Hollow Network updated to Hollow Chain Beta. Um, we are going to take a look at this. I am going to read this whole entire thing. So I know some of you guys don't really know how I do it because, you know, it's been a while. But um, so let's just go ahead and get through it. Um, Hollow Network updated to Hollow Chain Beta. Hollow uh, Roadmap pe uh, Progress. Hollow Alpha Network Current State and Upcoming Changes uh, or Change. Hollow Chain Beta 2.0 Release Dates. Uh, growth, Dev, Education, and Hollow Chain Events. It says here we've updated the Holo roadmap over the past months. We've uh, we focus on launching and testing the beta uh, 1.0 version of Holo Chain. We have also progressed Holo development and want to share what uh, that with you now. Wow, can't read today. We updated the roadmap and you can see that we marked three milestones as complete. One, hosting invoices and payments. Two, Holo fuel counter signing, and three, Holo of uh, platform updated to holochain beta oh interesting i i'm just reading this um i didn't read it uh beforehand and i know this is kind of old you guys but I, i've kind of been kind of busy these last couple days so um but i have been keeping track of what's been happening um in the crypto space it says here um this is very interesting because this is all in uh, progress here hot hollow fuel reserve and this is interesting right here um mm. the reason why i say this is interesting because maybe we're going to start getting some information on hot and hollow fuel and i do hope that that's the case i, I also see that the hollow fuel countersigning that's extremely important obviously everything here is important but this is extremely important um and i'll talk about that later uh, it says uh, here, all of the dev uh, work is complete for these milestones. This has been integrated and released together, and our QA and delivery teams are busy testing all of it. This includes a lot more than might be obvious given the names of the milestones. Some of the features and required testing for this integrated release, including the following. A revamped springboard site for holo registration and account management. Host console updates for invoice management. Publisher portal updates for invoice management, publisher registration and hat publishing on the new version of Holochain, our first alpha release of the Holofuel app with countersigning, Holofuel performance and reliability testing, log generation of data transferred by host nodes, bandwidth service logs, automatic hosting invoice creation and sending, publisher auto payments, internal tools for user management and HP alpha uh, program administration. HAPs uh, have a method for DNA cloning. Uh, these updates are not all available yet to the folks using the alpha network. When we move, when we moved Holo hosting into the alpha network, we mentioned that from time to time we would need to clear it and redeploy everything newly. We will begin, we will be doing that, doing exactly that in the next week or two after we finish our integrating testing. At that point, all of the changes we've completed as part of the last few milestones will become visible to alpha, alpha hosts and publishers. Now keep that in mind. The alpha, uh, Holo Alpha Network, but let's talk about what's been going on in the current version of the Alpha Network. For months now, distributed Holochain applications have been running successfully in pre-Holochain beta versions on the Holo Alpha network. They are still running. Musefeed, previously color, Clutter, is one of those applications. This application in particular has been an awesome demo tool that we've even been using to introduce more and more developers to Holochain at build events. Hundreds of people have signed up and used the Musefeed application. It has been hosted on all of the active Holo ports in the Alpha network and continues to perform reli reliably. If you haven't seen it, it is a Twitter-like app where cats mew with basic <coughs> excuse me, functionality uh, enabled that lets you follow people, see connections, and send direct messages. This has been a great test 
of a long-lived application running on Holo, Holo Chain and Holo. Um, I do have I do have an account. Uh, it does work great. It took a little bit, couple of seconds for it to um, go on, but um, it's been great. It says, uh, I think it says it's like search for a Holo port or something like that. Um, I do follow uh, some of these guys. Now, I really, honestly, you guys, um, all of the applications um, that I have joined, I don't know whether I'm doing it right. I am computer illiterate. I'm not very. I'm not the most technical guy out there. I want to call myself illiterate, um, but I'm just not the most technical guy um, out there. And when I follow people, um, I really don't get a lot. I don't know if they've updated it or whether people have been on there or not. I would go on here. Matter of fact, I can go. You know what? Uh, let me check. Let me check here. Like, you know what? I'm gonna go in here right now, right in front of you guys. And um, see here, because I actually, I have it. Now, I do think that it's a little bit different on the phone. Um, so, but I do have it on the phone. Let's see here. It says hosted by Holo. Remember, Holo does not store your password, so not recovered for you. Please save your password securely. I like stuff like that. And it's loading. I'm on Wi-Fi, and um, it's pretty quick. So, it's still loading here, but I'm going to go ahead and read. up. Oh, there it is. I'm going to put in my... Um, uh, my password should, uh, oh, I'll log in here, log in. All right, let's see. All right, uh, while that is uploading, uh, it says, when we deploy all the new updates for Holo Alpha Network, MuseFeed and all the other applications that are still running on the Alpha Network will be deprecated and their publishers will need to republish, okay, new versions that have been updated to the Holochain version. Makes sense. All right, it says Holochain Beta 2.0. In January, we launched Holo Beta, Holo, Holochain Beta 1.0. We're now preparing the next major release of Holochain, where we are introducing key features to enhance the security and reliability of the Holochain framework. This includes advanced network security, warrants, user experience improvements that provide better network information and improved system validation to make networking more secure and reliable. All right, I am inside of Clutter. Let me look here and click the news Muse feed here. All right, the Muse feed is loading. Let me see what the, the newest, it says your Muse feed. So, all right, Holochain Beta 1.0 will continue to be supported for the full, for the full six months promise, uh, including necessary bootstrap and proxy services. This will provide time for developers to update to Beta 2.0 without facing uh, break-in support. Um, we'll be following the same pattern we did for the first release by doing a release candidate in advance of the actual release. Below other dates, teams have established for the final RC and beta 2.0. April 13th, 2023, Hollow Chain uh, beta 2.0 is uh, the, that's the, um, excuse me, that's the, uh, uh, RC, and then April 27th, coincidentally my mom's birthday, uh, Hollow Chain uh, Beta 2.0. Uh, the tool chain updates include an updated version of the Hollow Chain launcher will be released in early May. This will include a fully tested version of the scaffolding tool and, and initial applications available in the launcher. You can check out the Hollow Chain roadmap, which has minor updates to see the progress. So, you know, if you guys remember, remember if you're if you're new to this, Hollow Chain and Holo have two different roadmaps. So, you guys got to pay attention to that uh, because they're two different entities. All right, growth, uh, dev, dev education, and hollow chain events. That should say devication. No, because that sounds too much like defecation. Never mind. Anyway, I was trying to create a new word. It didn't work. Uh, rounding out this post is our update on the product marketing launch of hollow chain, which has been underway since early February when the tooling for the first beta release of hollow chain became available. Um. Our growth strategy includes developer first activities and business development activities. Using the scaffolding tool in the latest versions of Holochain, it is now possible to build a distributed peer to peer application in a day. This has enabled a new type of in person event for us. These dApps in a day events, uh, dApps in a day events 
have led us to uh, have let us interact direct directly with new developers and iterate on the best ways to quickly have folks wrap their heads around the innovation of designing for agent centric centricity and serverless tech. We have also iterated on the developer education program based on a physical training intensive we offered in Austria last summer. Just last weekend, we hosted a project demo call where the cohort of devs that attended the recent online four day uh, online developer training shared the apps uh, and architecture, architecture patterns they have been designing. To say it was spectacular would be an understatement. The clarity participants de demonstrated for how Holochain can be used in all manners of new implement implementations for social media, digital identity, and distributed finance is breathtaking. Um, in the coming weeks and months, We'll begin offering more and more self-paced and online developer events. We are also attending conferences like CD, uh, GDC 2023, MozFest, and others. And we had a presence at Geo Week 2023 earlier, as well as the AWSF Open Source Forum for motion picture development earlier in the year. In June, our team will also be sponsoring uh, and attending D Web Camp 2023. Follow follow us on your favorite social channel to stay connected to where we'll be and how you can meet with us on the ground as we take Holochain Beta into the world. Now, this is all exciting stuff. Um, I am pretty. Uh, I'm hoping that. Um, let me see what happens if I hit click back here. Oh yeah, yeah, so I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, I kind of. It's a better. It's a better view here. Sorry about all that, you guys. Uh, but yeah, so um, this was uh, created by Miss Mary Camacho. Um, she has been um, doing. Uh, I, I I think that the Holo Chain team, uh, and the Holo team have been doing a great job, uh, collaborating and um, helping each other out. Um, I'm hoping that. Um, we will see some good news about holoports right because there are a lot of us including myself that actually got holoports um uh hoping to get involved with the uh alpha program but um they it was shut down or i should say shut out for uh some of us who had just received our holoports um which i'm glad that w i was able to get one in the first place excited about that so yeah um this is all very exciting news. So anyway, uh, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, thank you guys very much. And um, I will be making another video pretty soon. Uh, probably uh, probably talking about a couple of other projects that are, that are out there. But as I always say, you guys, please, um, please do your own research. Do your own research. Do your own research. And last but not least, above all else, it is getting crazy. Absolutely crazy in this world. Please create some shelter for yourselves. Um, just um, enjoy life the best you can and stay safe out there. Okay, you guys? Bye, you guys.